love to introduce one of the biggest country <coughs> bears in Australia. They are an amazing Aussie trio who are actually sisters. Give it up for the McClymans. Hey girls. Hello. Hello. I'm just so happy to be here talking to Grace and Bella and hear all about what they're doing. It's just so lovely and it's such a beautiful day to hear where I am. So thanks for having me. I feel like before I should be like the Brady Bunch. Although Grace and Bella might not remember who they are. I don't know who they are. That's showing our age. I've heard of um, them. No, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love the Brady Bunch. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thank you for having me. Seen Grace lots on Instagram and social media, so it's really yes. nice. <laughs> they are ready, so I'm just going to hand it over to Bella to ask a couple of questions. So, Bella, over to you. What do you wish you had known when you first started? Oh, what I first, what well, when we first started, <laughs> I would have liked to know that you're not going to get much sleep out on the road. That would have been nice to know because we don't get much. But you know what? We have the best time playing in front of all these amazing people who come to our shows. <laughs> and um, so that's, that's something that I wish I did know, Bella. <laughs> Question number two, if I gave you an elephant, where would you hide it? <laughs> I'd probably um, get help from my two-year-old Ari because he hides a lot of things from me and I can't find them. So I would ask Ari to find a spot for that elephant and you know what? I think he would do a good job and we'd never find that elephant ever again. <laughs> do you have a warm-up song? And if so, what would your warm warm up song be? Molly, what's your favourite? What's your one? Look, I love doing I got this. I I always chuck out random songs. I say, Can you sing this? Can you sing this? And sometimes they go along with me and go, Yes, we can sing that song, but other times it still goes, nah, I'm doing my own thing and I just go again. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, what inspires your music? We have, look, there's so many things that inspire us. Like lately it's been the kids, it's been our, you know, where our yeah. life is at these days. But back yeah, in the mom. day when we first brought out music, before we were all married and partnered up, you know, it was anything <laughs> yeah. that we were going through really. It was friends' stories, it was our stories, it was, you know, things that we were passionate about. And that's the beauty of music, I guess, and the, and the significance, I think, of making albums is it, it, it captures a time you know for where you're yeah. at in that moment so yeah, yeah. I, I guess you know that's that's probably it for me yeah and i say um growing up um our influences in music would be were other bands like we love the judds the wilkinsons the eagles um, we really did love american country you know shania Twain, fishy you were dolly yeah. parton um, all of those artists as well so i guess their music influenced our sound oh dixie chicks can't oh, forget them yeah. no <laughs> yeah so they would be our influences yeah and i'll say two years ago what we were going through at the time we still only write about what we're going through right now because we feel like people can connect to it a lot more if you know they can see it through your story so we try to be as authentic yeah. as we are authentic as possible and as well as whatever we're listening to at the time that influences our music for me i don't know i like a lot of different music but one of my favorites i think the mcclymont's carry underwood they're very natural they're authentic beautiful keeping it authentic i love that and what about <laughs> you bella well i'm actually writing a song at the moment and um, like my, the, I listen to like NF and you guys and I kind of like think about like lyrics that I can use and stuff because like going through tough, I'm going through like tough time at, a, at the moment and like I want like meaningful lyrics and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. 
how good is music? Like in, in good times and in bad times, music is just all around a great piece of therapy for anyone. So we are all music <laughs> yeah. lovers here. So something we can all agree yeah. on. <laughs> but we've got a lot of fans around the hospital who also wanted to be involved in this chat. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it today, but we do have one very special video message that's been sent in. And um, little Tasman has got a question for you ladies. So McClyman sisters, are you ready to answer a little video question? Hi, I'm Tasman and I have a question for you. I was wondering, how did you become so successful with your career? Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. I don't, I actually don't know what the recipe for success is, but I mean, maybe one thing for the three of us girls is the sibling harmonies. We, you know, there's, um, there's something really special when it comes to family harmonies. And I know the three of us girls, that's something that we just naturally do. We've never really been taught. I mean, we went to singing lessons, but as far as the three of us, we taught ourselves to sing together as a group and yeah. that's probably that's probably the best way I can explain it. I would say too that, um, you know, never giving up and always believing in yourself because especially in our industry, there might be people who want to tell you what you should sing or how you should look or how you should act. And you really need to just go inside and know who you are and believe in yourself and keep being that person because I think that's what makes someone successful. You know, people want to see artists out there who are themselves and being true to themselves and I think that really helps, um, really helps, you know, make a successful artist and band. A lot of hard work actually. We've been singing since we were five and six years old and we come up in the talent quest circuit always singing every weekend, every opportunity we ever got, we said yes to, we sang it. Oh, we started at nursing homes, at little festivals, at K's, we sang absolutely everywhere. And it was singing at the Ginky Master in 1997. I think I was 11 or 12 Universal Music Chorus as a trio and they watched us for the next few years. And then Lee Kernigan was having a tour and we got invited to be a part of that tour and then our career just kicked off. So it was a lot of that hard work earlier on in our career that, you know, led up to that moment. So we're gonna take this yes. mayhem and make it a little bit more madness. So are we all <laughs> ready to play this special game called Name It? Tell me a singer that starts with your letter that's gonna appear on the screen Gee. now. Singer, go Bella. Yes. Sam, P. Prince. Grace, can you see your letter? G. Yeah, uh, I have no clue. This one's so hard. Ah. Mine's so hard. Mm. <laughs> I'm I don't know. Oh, no. Brooke, you've got R. Rhiannon. Yes, Molly, you've it's got M. <laughs> Mariah Carey, isn't it Rhiannon? <laughs> Did I say, what did is I say? Is it Rihanna? Is it Rihanna? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, that was thinking of Fleet with Max. Whoopsie. So, the next category, you need to tell me an item that you would find in a backpack. Go, Bella, when the letter comes up. Ice pack. Ice pack. She's so fast. Sam. Um, a light. Like a flash light. <laughs> light? Grace? Um, oh, what are they? Oh, I, I don't know. Um, what are they? Oh, I give up. I don't know. Mm. Welcome back to you, Grace. so hard. Look, you have the letter J. A jumper. Jumper. Molly, T. I was going to say a stick. Cardigan. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, I what? That's no. I, I can't think of anything. <laughs> a thick cardigan. What you do you think? You could have said girls? a toiletry oh, bag. No, I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh man, it's so hard a on the spot. No, well done. <laughs> a thin jumper, or a thin jumper, Molly, <laughs> <laughs> or a tight jumper. <laughs> Look, I wasn't even 
keeping score, but everyone did well. Everyone's a winner. Well done yes. to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost at the end of our time, but not yet. We have an amazing hospital community of healthcare workers and patients, their families, siblings. And um, we were wondering if one of you lovely ladies from the McClimate Sisters had a special message to share with them today. Oh, we want to say hello, everybody out there watching. We're thinking of you so much. Uh, we think you are all absolute superheroes. And we we can stop by the hospital at some stage and sing you a song when we're in town next. So fingers crossed um, we can pop in and be there to meet you all and sing together. And um, we're thinking of you lots. Oh, beautiful. Wouldn't we love that, Bella and Grace? A performance from uh -huh. the when they're coming to visit. <clears throat> <laughs> yep, I would definitely, I would definitely be in for that. I would definitely be here in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, my climate sisters, we just want to say a massive thank you so much on behalf of Juice TV, and also I know Bella and Grace have had such a great time chatting yeah. with you, playing games, laughing, learning that Turkish is maybe not a language. So thank you so <laughs> so much for your time. <laughs> we really Bye, do girls, appreciate thank you. it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, guys, later. Thank you. Yeah.